<coughs> Sneaker reveal. Sneaker reveal. Sneaker review. What's up guys? Happy March. It's been a minute. Today I have an extra special video for you guys. These are shoes that have stirred a lot of controversy in the sneaker game. Now before I start today's video, I have to shamelessly plug my merch. You guys remember the original, the OG merch, the Ghostbusters logo. I don't know if you guys can see it. Well, now it comes in hoodies, and personally, this is my favorite hoodie so far. I've worn this ever since I got it, so if you guys haven't copped, or if you guys want to buy a mask, they're 20% off, so make sure you guys go in the link in the description, or go to yeezybussa.com slash shop. Now, since we got that out of the way, time to dive into the sneaker review. Now, let me give a little bit of a backstory. So, basically, this shoe dropped online, but it hasn't shipped yet. So, the only people who were able to get these pairs went to the 747 Adidas event, which you guys should remember from a couple videos ago. I wasn't able to pick up a pair while I was there because the line was so long and I was so busy doing a bunch of other things. So, I just got them from StockX. Here they are. Just got them in. Uh, do I have to do a box review? Box review! Totally kidding. So, let me open this up real quick. Two days later. Six months later. So, the box is open. You guys aren't allowed to see what it is yet. Because first, I need a drum roll. <laughs> Swag. Whoa. Whoa. So, it's a brown box. It's a Yeezy box. Now, I've showed you guys 350s, 700s, 750s. Now we got 500s. So, guys, it says Yeezy 500. And it doesn't have the word boost in the middle because, as many of you guys know, this shoe has no boost in it. So, with. So, uh, the Yeezy 700 has the word boost, so the Yeezy Boost 700, Yeezy Boost 350. Uh, these ones do not have boost, and much like the 700s, there's an Adidas logo on the bottom. Not really used to seeing that. And it says made by Adidas, but it doesn't say adidas.com slash Yeezy. Probably just because these were only sold on Yeezy Supply, and I'm pretty sure they're not dropping on Adidas, so that's probably why. So that's just minor, minor details with the box, and whoa, this is really interesting. The label, under this label says Desert Rat 500. I'm assuming the label under this one says Yeezy Desert Rat 500. And now instead, there's another label on top and it just says Yeezy 500, which is really interesting. Maybe Kanye decided to change the name at the last second or change the appearance that's on the box. Let's see, the, the Yeezy Boost 700 just says 700, it doesn't say Wave Runner. So maybe they wanted to keep it consistent and just keep the model number on there, I don't know. So as you guys can see the label here, Yeezy 500, and you see that there's a label that's under that says Desert Rat 500. And also it is the blush colorway, so it says blush, 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 and it has the EPC code inside. So uh, I've been talking a lot. Let's get into the sneaker. So just took the shoe out of the box and wow, these look so much better in person. At first, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I wasn't really crazy about the design. Like obviously we all know that the Yeezy 700 is kind of like the higher end fashion shoe, whereas the V2 is more so kind of like an everyday running shoe or an athletic shoe. I really don't know what to label it. And the 700 was kind of the step in the designer area. And now we have the 500, which is a completely designer shoe. Wow, the quality is crazy. The suede that's on the front tip of the shoe is nuts. It looks like it's really high quality materials. Dang, these look so comfortable. They've been verified authentic. I haven't actually seen any fakes of these yet, so that's a good sign. So if you guys are trying to cop, I got these for a really good price. So I'll show you guys a little bit more of the shoe. Uh, I'll show you guys an on-foot look of the shoe as well. 
These definitely have to go with a very specific outfit. You can't just wear them with anything. There have been a lot of pictures of Kim wearing these, so a lot of women like them, but Kanye really rocks them with just a pair of shorts. I saw him wear these at the 747 event, which I thought was really, really cool. These were directly from the 747 event. The person had a receipt and everything, and I don't think Chinese companies are gonna make fake 747 receipts. So that's how I know that they're legit. I'm really gonna get a chance to take a look at these and see when fakes come out, who's gonna wear the fakes and who's gonna wear the real. So be on the lookout for those busts coming soon. By the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's at EasyBusta. Go, go follow me. I know you guys can't click it, but it's the link in the description, you guys will see it. You guys have to join the Busta fam. Link in description. Wow. <laughs> A lot of you guys make fun of me because you guys think I can't smell through the mask. Well, that's that's false. I can. It's not that thick of a mask. It does keep my face warm though. Whenever I go travel to somewhere cold, pop a mask on. That's also another reason why you should buy it. Remember guys, it's only $20 for a limited amount of time. So yeezybusta.com slash shop or link in the description, of course. Let's take a look at more parts of the shoe. So here we can see the actual silhouette of the sneaker. It's really interesting. Kais had pointed out on his Twitter that they took inspiration from a Kobe Adidas sneaker for the sole, as you guys can see, and I'll put it up on the screen so you guys can see it in a second. So let's move on to the top, the aerial view of the sneaker. This is the view that you will be seeing if you're wearing these. It's definitely a bulky sneaker. It's one that's meant for people who kind of like the bulky look, not a shoe necessarily that would be very narrow, but it's very in style right now to wear the dad or the bulky sneaker. So you guys will see the front. You guys will see the very high quality suede. I'm telling you guys, this is so soft. This is even softer than the suede that's on the 350, which I think is really awesome. The top of the shoe. The reason why I like this sneaker so much is just because of the intricate design. You guys will see like kind of like this mesh right here, which I think is really cool. It has all these little suede patches all over it. It does not have boost, but the sole is kind of squishy. So it does seem like they're comfortable. And I have heard from other people that they are very comfortable. The whole shoe is this blush colorway. When people said it was a blush colorway, I had thought that it might've been kind of like a little pinkish, but no, it's truly a tan colorway in person. They are a lighter tan than the Oxford tan, so they're not necessarily a tan, but they're, I would call them beige. I wouldn't really call them blush. There's a cool pull tab, a leather pull tab on the front. There's no pull tab on the back, but there is some more suede. Definitely a cool design on the back of the shoe. It kind of looks like a tubular almost in the back just because of the stripes that are on the outsole. You guys can see that there is no boost, but it does have an Addy Preen um, outsole, which I don't know exactly what that means. The bottom of the shoe looks really, really cool. Has this crazy design, kind of resembles the Wave Runner a little bit, I'd say, but I think it's really, really cool. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm seeing. This is the inside, it says Yeezy and Ortho Light. So I'm assuming that these have some sort of arch support in them. And uh, that's pretty much the whole sneaker. Apart from that, guys, the size label is on the tongue, not on the inside of the shoe, on the side. This is a size 11. I'm not sure about the sizing on these, so I will throw these on foot. I'm a true size 11. All my V2s are either an 11 and a half or a 12. All my Ultra Boosts are an 11, so let's try these on foot. Guys, also let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this shoe and buy your merch. I mean, I'm sorry, wait, but easybusted.com slash shop. But guys, seriously, let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Do you guys think these are cool? Do you guys think these are kind of like the new design wave that's gonna be dropping? As you guys know, the Easy 700s are restocking this weekend. So the dad shoes are making a big impact this month. I'm not sure exactly when the other pairs will be shipping of these, but uh, let me know what you guys think. And if you guys have any questions for me about this sneaker, leave a comment down below. I'm gonna respond to as many of you guys as I can. I really want you guys to like and enjoy the shoe as much as I do. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was definitely really cool showing you guys these shoes before they've really delivered. So only a few hundred people have these because at the 747 event, they were super, super limited. 
which is why I wasn't able to pick them up. Thank you to StockX for the shoes. I have another shoe coming in tomorrow that I'm really, really excited to show you guys. Also this week, I will be filming with a infamous sneaker YouTuber. So look out for that video. I will be posting a video with them. Another really cool sneaker will be coming in tomorrow. Like I said, some new video about that probably at the end of the week. Guys, today was really a true sneaker review video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, if you guys want to see kind of like my serious side where I actually just sit down and show you guys sneakers, let me know. If you guys want me to do more vlogs and stuff, obviously let me know too. Tomorrow I will be making a few trips to Beverly Hills and I will be vlogging a lot. So I'm going to give you guys kind of a different taste of a different video tomorrow as well. So anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'm going to catch you guys real soon. That, that didn't work. Food again. <gasps> oh, you're still here? I see you food, food again. No dead presidents. You bought me like Ken. Food, food again. I see you food, food again. No dead presidents. You bought me like Ken.